They're recording. This is going on my YouTube channel, so later in life. My grandfather reacts to Bungo Stray Dog characters. Okay. What is his name? What is his name? Mm -hmm. Sudoku. <laughs> you don't have to give them na names like that, you know? You just give them normal oh. American names. Oh, they know. are all named after authors, though. Mm -hmm. He looks like an Edgar. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> Funny, I have a picture of him over, over. It's the transfer I'm doing, but okay. Okay. Stop. Ability. Mm. His superpower. His superpower. Yes. He can read your mind. He can read your mind. Wow. Okay. He's What's his personality? Your mind right now. Somber. He's somber. Yeah. Okay. Uh. <laughs> I can't stop laughing from that name. Uh, is he Port Mafia, Mice, Detective Agency, or Guild? Maywin didn't even go with the jobs I listed. I'd say... He works for Tree. Guild. Huh? Guild. Guild? I think that's what Grandma said. Okay. <clears throat> Am I missing anything? I got personality, guy. ability, name, and... Okay, yeah. Who is this? This is the main character of the show. Fishy. Oh, I'd say. Fishy. Stop! You're not doing this, May. <laughs> hmm. Is she? I'm gonna say Mark. His name is Mark. <laughs> Wait. I think I. <laughs> I know that the, some of the authors you're you're, you're um referencing. Mm. Okay. Ability. Mark yes, Mark. <laughs> Ability. Ah. Oh. Looking at him, I'd say he's a computer whiz. Really? That's a superpower? Oh, that's right. It's abilities or superpower. superpowers? They're supernatural oh, abilities. Supernatural abilities? Mm -hmm. He can see the future. Is that why his eyes are two toned? Yep. Okay. He's seeing everything. Personality. That Personality? Mm -hmm. eh, What's that? Sort of. I don't know. He seems like he'd be. Pop, pop. He looks confused. Yeah. He looks like he'd be puzzled. He's puzzled most of the time. <laughs> I like that. So Mark Twain is the the um protagonist of the show. Because <laughs> mm. I said he's the main character. Mm, mm, uh, what is he? Guild. Phantom Hive. Shush. We're not doing Black Butler. Guild, Black Mafia, Black Butler. Mice, Moose, Detective Agency. Detective Moose? Agency. Okay. Who's this? Hairman. Okay, looking at the hair. Is it a guy or a girl? This is a guy. Oh wow. Okay. I would say that he doesn't like um the first guy, Ed Edgar. Robert. Robert. I'm trying to think which one, which also you might be referencing here. Robert Louis Stevenson. Oh, wait, who is? I keep thinking of Stephen King. Okay. Um. Okay, so Robert, what is his personality? The ability to read minds. That that's the I said personality. Oh, oh. Personality? And you said that for you said that for Edgar. I'd say jovial. Jovial? What does that mean? Happy. Oh, no, no. joyful. 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 Yeah. Yeah. You said Edgar, the first guy, could read minds. Oh, okay. Then I I was meant. Uh... No, I said he could see the future. Oh, no, that was that was him. You said read minds, oh. future. Oh, okay. Can't do this guy. What would Robert do? Robert. His, his yeah, super Robert. You probably know more. Oh, you probably know more authors than Grandma does. Teleportation. Oh, uh, is he Mafia, Guild, Detective Agency? Mafia. Or the Mice. Oh, it's the Mafia? The yeah. Now, the leader of of all four of the organizations are on here. So if you think they're the leader of the organize, of one of those organizations, please tell me. Who is this? I love this guy. He's one of my favorite characters. No. Hmm. Along with somebody else. Die. Maywin, this is the one you called cream. Cream! Yeah, you liked cream. I remember that. Cream! Hmm, let me think. <gasps> trying, to get, trying to get the names of authors out of your brain. Mm -hmm. You don't have to do author names if you don't want to. Let's say, um... Joe. Joe. Joshua. Joshua Joe Joseph. Oh, I can't think of his name. Um... What's, what's the story? Maybe um, I know it. Um, 
way on lips. There. Arthur. Arthur? Okay. Mm-hmm. What is <clears throat> his personality? Personality? Mm-hmm. Are you maybe a he looks like he'd be a clown. Well. He's a cl- he's the class clown. <laughs> <laughs> or the com- company clown, I guess. Mm. Uh, okay. Uh, ability. Um, let me think here. His clothing's like flying everywhere. I think he could. I think he has the ability to fly. Uh, fly, cream. That wasn't meant to be a hint. <laughs> fly, cream. Fly, my boy. <laughs> and I would say he's probably the leader of mice. He's the leader of the mice. The moose. The moose. <laughs> okay. Mises. Remember in the car when May Owen was yelling Muffin Man? The Muffin Man is in this roster. Mm. I will tell you when we get to the Muffin Man. Who is she? Oh. E. Robin. Robin? Robin. And her superpower is... I don't even need to say it anymore, do I? <laughs> her superpower would be... Being normal. Transformation. Transformation? Oh, is that why she has a butterfly? Yep. She has the ability to transform. Okay. Into a <clears throat> personality? Oh, um, somebody's calling. Yeah, it's Uncle Ben. I'm going to have to answer it. Okay, I can pause this. Okay. Oh, no! Okay, so it, it cut me out because my phone, it, it turned off the video because my phone turned off. Mm. So, Robin, transformation, I'm going to edit this all together later. So Personality? It yeah, personality. Mm. There's food. On whimsical. Whimsical? She's whimsical. She's a whimsical person. Yeah. Okay. And I'd say she's mice. She's a part of the mice. Yep. Gotcha. Oh. Who is he? Oh. I'd say he is uh, Dirk. Dirk. Yep, he's Dirk. And he is. His power is. Black magic. Black magic? Oh, you're doing good at this. I'm not telling you if it is or isn't correct, though. Ah, child! Hi! I'd say he's mysterious. Don't cough on me. And he's part of the mafia. No, again, like I said, four leaders. Tell me if you think they're the leader or not. Okay, I don't think he's a leader. Who is this? Oh. She reminds me of Maywin, kind of. I don't know why. I would say... Hmm. We're still trying to think of authors? Yeah. How about Mal? Mal? Yeah. Who, who, what book did they write? M-A-U. M-A-U. Okay. Okay. Mal, and I'd say she has the power of the elements. The elements. Ooh. And I'd say she's dark. She's dark. She's sinister. Okay. And she is definitely mafia. Okay. There is. A, there two are two other options besides mafia and mice. You know. The ones like. What were they? The detective agency and the guild. Oh, Guild. Off, I'd say she's Guild. Okay. My phone almost turned off again. Who are I'd these two? She... They are siblings. Mm. Even though they may not look like it. Okay. I don't like her. I don't like her. He's fine. I actually really like him. I don't like her. <laughs> uh, Margaret okay. and William. Margaret and William. Do they share an ability? Do they have two different yeah, abilities? Does one have another? an ability and the one other doesn't? I would say they have different abilities. Okay. Uh, I'd say the, the boy has uh, speed. So William is speedy. Yeah. And Margaret has. Margaret is um, more. Uh, hmm. <laughs> I think of superpower. Think of the X Men. I don't know. <laughs> she has the ability to turn invisible. Ooh. So invisibility and speed. Yep, invisibility and speed. What are their personalities? I'd say she looks like she'd be a little on the evil side. The evil side? Yeah. Kind of like maybe mean. Why does she look mean? She's got the art eyes. He looks like he'd be kind of a happy-go-lucky guy. Yeah, I like him. <laughs> okay. Mafia, detective agency, mice. 
guild. What mice. What's on your head? It's like a blood mark on your head. Yeah, I hit something. Aww. So they're part of the mice? Yeah, I'd say they're part of mice. Who's this guy? <laughs> it's the only picture, good picture I can find of him that didn't have his name on it. Hmm. I'm not going oh, to you. Just a headshot. I'd say he's, um... Again, they're all authors. Yeah, I'm trying to think of it. I got an author in mind, but I can't think of his name right now. Uh, what story did he write? Maybe I know. Stephen. Stephen? Stephen King? Ah. Oh. <laughs> okay. And I'd say... The powers. I'm trying to look at him here a little He's better. got a book. He has a book. I'd say he has the powers for uh, gravity. He can pick you up and throw you. <laughs> Please do not mind my weird laughter. And I would say, I would say his, judging by most of it, anger. Uh -huh. And he's definitely part of the mafia. Okay, you said so far you haven't said detective agency once. <laughs> I thought I did. You okay. did. I thought it oh, was, yeah, you but... did once, but that was it. Yeah. Who is he? Mr. Richie McRicherson. Uh, uh, that's the uh. only hint I'm giving you. He's a very rich Englishman. So far, all the characters have been Japanese. I would say... Uh, let's see here. I thought that was my cat. That is me on a blanket. <clears throat> this is faster than walking. Uh, let's see. <laughs> I would say Bruce. Bruce? Yeah. Wait, I feel... Yeah, I Bruce too. You did! Grandma said Bruce too for some of the, one of them. I don't think it was him though. This is what I mean. You gave weird names like Guy. You named the first one Guy. I'd say he's Bruce. Oh, that's true. true. And, uh... His ability? Mind control. I think you said that already. I did? I didn't think I said mind control. Maybe I did. You said reading minds. You didn't say mind yeah, control. Yeah, not mind control, though. Yeah, you said yeah, reading minds. Mind control. And I'd say he's uh, serious. Okay. And he's definitely the police. The police? Yeah. He's just police? I only listed four. Yeah? What was the fourth? There's the mice, yeah. the guild, the detective agency. Detective agency. That's what I meant. <laughs> the detective police. Agency. The armed detective agency. So they're higher than the police. Who is he? Oh, One of my man. favorites. Raccoon man. Raccoon man. <laughs> <laughs> you have to name his raccoon, too. <laughs> we'll say Randy. Randy the Randy raccoon. raccoon. <laughs> raccoon. And Randy. the man himself. And he has, I'm going to guess he has, he can control animals. You didn't? Give him a name. Randy. Man. I thought that was the raccoon's name. He would guess the same on that one. What? what? That he can control animals. Oh, yeah, he did. you did. I thought you named the raccoon Randy. Uh -huh. I, thought, what's I his... just said Randy raccoon. Oh. Yeah, Randy, and I say he can control animals. Okay. I'd say his personality... That's very mysterious. ...is mysterious, and he is probably part of the guild. Ooh, Okay. Did you give? Are you gonna give his raccoon a name or not? <laughs> Ricky. Ricky the raccoon. Okay. Randy and Ricky. Who is this? <laughs> oh man, we're gonna call him uh, Bozo. Bozo. <laughs> he looks like he's a clown. He does. Is that why his shirt's open like that? May would called him shirtless man, but that that he clearly has a shirt uh, on. I would say he has a happy attitude. He does. And Here his he power. He has the power. Oh, My hand's very itchy. Does that mean something? It does mean something. <laughs> he has the power of strength. Oh. Enormous strength. Is that why his shirt's undone? His yes. suspenders are off? <laughs> it is. He turned Hulk a time. He, cured, he turns Hulk. <laughs> and I would say he is part of the guild. Okay. Who is that? Who are they? You have to guess the gender along with it. I'm guessing it's Brother a Zinda. woman. And I would say her name is Elvira. Okay, fun fact. She is the little sister to him. Ooh. 
So she would be Elvira. You always taking all my dirt. And her evil powers would be... Her evil powers? Yeah. <laughs> I think she's evil. You do? She looks like an assassin. Yeah. Her power... I think she is an assassin. She has the ability to control time. Ooh. You did say that her brother's ability was black magic. Yep. Okay. She has the ability to control time. I'd say... Her disposition would be... Her disposition? Um... What's up with mosquitoes? Is that why my hands are no, arms itchy? No, they're fruit flies. Why is my hand itchy then? Could just be something got against you. I'd say her disposition is one of... Uh... You need to remind you? Hmm. There's the agency, the, the uh... Mafia, the guilds, and the mice. I'd say she hers is one her she's a distrustful person and she's with the agency. Okay, the agencies are the good guys. Hmm. Oh, I, don't I know, thought I thought someone was standing outside mafia. the back porch. I'd okay. say she, she's a part of the mafia. Her and her brother are probably the leaders of the mafia. Ooh. Who is he? This is the muffin man. The muffin man. <laughs> the muffin man. Wait, I'd muffin say man. Eric. Yes, the muffin man. Wait, what'd you say? Eric. The yeah. And I'd say... Muffin man, muffin man, okay, who lives down Muffin Lane. It's, I thought it was Dairy Lane? <laughs> no, and it's he Cherry has... Lane. Hmm. Suit right, I didn't hear the name you gave him, I'm sorry. I would say his superpowers would be able to... Uh, let me think here. Power, he looks like he could. Hmm. Oh, let's see. I'm trying to think of a superpower. Something that we haven't hit on yet. Maybe we're trying to record. I'd say that his superpowers is he has the ability to create force fields around things. Ask somebody else. I, must, I, keep, I keep thinking, does he? Does he not? And then I would say his. I'd say looking at him that he has a sort of mild temperament. Okay. Who does he work for? I would say uh, the guild. The guild. Okay. I, again, I didn't hear your, hear the name you gave him because everyone was yelling the muffin man, Eric. Eric the Muffin Man. Who's he? He is actually the father figure, in my mind, to him. Hmm. I would say that he looks like a Christopher. Christopher. Yeah. Christopher Robbins. Sorry. And I would say... Oh, let's see here. He has... The powers of deception. Deception? Dark deception. That is a video game. <laughs> and his demeanor, he seems angry looking at him. And I'd say that he is probably the head of the guild. Ooh, okay. Who's her? Who is she? Oh, wow. She comes across as a Melanie. A Melody? Or Melanie. Mel Melanie. Melanie. Okay, I thought you said Melody. And I would guess her superpower to be the ability to leap. Leap? So she can jump high like Superman? Yeah, yeah. I'd say she looks like she has a sort of happy at attitude. Kind of. And... Yeah. Her dress is all tattered. I would think she is definitely part of the guild. Okay. Who is he? Oh, jeez. He looks like one. a Bruce. You already said Bruce. I did? Yeah, that was... Oh, that's right, I did, yeah. That was this guy. Yeah, yeah, he looks like a... A lot of people look the same, apparently. <laughs> I don't know, is, is that a real beard? <laughs> that is a real beard. <laughs> okay. I oh, actually don't I'd remember I'd say he's a name. Sam, then, with that beard. <laughs> I'd say Winchester. He's a Sam? Yeah. 
very old Sam Winchester. <laughs> kind of looks like it now. That I think I'd say it. he probably, uh, because he's older, I'd say he definitely has the power to read minds. You just said that. I know, but that doesn't mean he can't have the same power. That is true. I'd say he has the power to read and control minds, put Ooh, it that both. way. And I'd say he has a, um, not an anger issue, but he's pretty monotone, I guess. He's not angry or happy. Yeah. And I'd say uh, he is probably, judging by his age, I'd say he's the leader of something. I'm going to guess the... Uh, the uh, detective agency. Okay. So you gave the leader for almost all four people, all four organizations. Right. Now. Yep. Who's he? Oh wow, he looks like a Jack. A Jack. Jack and the Beanstalk. I keep thinking of things when you say the names. <laughs> he looks like a Jack. I'd say he's part of the guild. His superpower would be. Hmm. Times. He can shrink himself down. Oh. Do I hear what Grandma said for his ability? What? He, he could use his scarf as a weapon. Mm. <laughs> Very aizawa i I'd say he can shrink down, and I'd say his attitude is one of, uh, like I said, mild-mannered. He doesn't look like he's actually angry or happy. Yeah. No mild-mannered. Okay. Did you say where he, what Guild. he works for? Okay. Who's he? He's using his ability in this. Ooh, okay. I'm saying that he has... Use the name of an author, please. <laughs> his name is... Mm, let me look at his face. Let's say Chester. Chester? Chester, and he has the ability of light. Of light. light look at his other arm! Light and fire? Transformation, I guess. <laughs> you okay. said that. Oh, wait, you already... Yeah. I'd say he has the ability to transform. Okay. Uh, I think he's evil, and I think he's mafia. Okay. Did you see his personality? Yeah. Oh. Evil. Oh. Transformation. He works with him. Oh, jeez. So that I guess they're both mafia. Mafia. Yeah, so they both have to be mafia then. I said mafia. He looks like a Tom. <laughs> Tom. Tom Hanks. Tom... I'd say he has... He has the crazy eyes. I mean, look at those eyes. Yeah. He's got the crazy eyes. Hmm. Let me zoom out. Thank you. He has the power of levitation. Ooh. And I'd say his demeanor is one of silly. With and those we always crazy said mafia. Eyes. Yeah. Oh, there are two duplicates. Who's he? Last person. Last person? Yes. Oh, I would say that he is probably definitely Guild. I'd say his name would be... Uh, let me think here. Maywin said that this is her in the show. <laughs> I'd say his name would be probably Bernard. Bernard. Yeah, and... As far as ability, that's a tough one. Look at what he's holding. Yeah, see a staff. It's a stop sign. Oh, is it a stop sign? It's a stop sign. A bop sign. If you may, one look. He has the ability to rip out stop signs. He has the ability to rip out stop signs. (laughs) I'd say he's probably a happy kind of guy. He is. And I would say... Even in battle. Guild. Okay. Are you ready for me to reveal who they are? Okay. This is Kenji. Okay. He works for the detective agency. Okay. Newsflash, there's only one mouse person on here. Okay. <laughs> His ability is super strength. Okay. This, oh, I skipped those two. I don't remember his name. Uh, I, 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 I'm sorry. <laughs> He's a part of the guild. Okay. Not the mafia. <laughs> That's not fair because you said they were worked together. I would have said guild on him. Yeah. Okay, so he's guild. Yeah. Or- um... His ability is that he can grow vines out of his body. Oh, okay. Which is kind of freaky because it looks like he's got veins protruding from his skin. Mm. With little grapes on them. It's grape vines. This is H.P. Lovecraft. He can literally turn himself into Cthulhu. <laughs> That's why his arm's like that. 
Okay. And the, his hand's glowing because he's using his ability. And he's guild. He is guild. This is Mori. At least I think I'm pronouncing it right. He is the leader of the mafia. Ooh, I got that right. You you said he was mafia. You did not say he was leader. Well, that's true. <laughs> I think you said uh, the siblings were... One of, one of the pair of siblings was the leaders. His ability's a little weirder because there's this little girl that is his ability. He can control her, technically. Hmm. Okay, Ray. Uh, nobody knows what the re- his relationship is with the little girl. Hmm. If it's like a father-daughter relationship, if it's something kind of weirder, I frankly do not want to know. <laughs> I don't remember his name either. I do know he's the author of the Moby Dick. Because that's his ability. The, oh, yeah. yeah. The names of some of their more fam- famous books are the names of their abilities. And technically, he can make the ship that is the form of a whale. And the guild, which he's a part of, uses that as their like little home base. Well, I said he was the mafia leader, didn't I? Uh, I, I think or no, he... I did say guild leader, didn't I? Yeah, you did. But he's not the leader of the guild. I think he'd oh. be the one who would take over mm. if the, anything happened to the leader of the guild. But I think the guild has been dispersed. I don't remember. Uh, do you know who the writer of Moby Dick is? Because I don't think Gravel did, and neither do I. Oh, yeah. Um, do you not know either? No, because the first name that comes to mind for me is Captain Ahab. <laughs> is that <laughs> a character in the Moby Dick? Yeah, Captain Ahab's one hunting Moby Dick. Oh, uh, okay. So let's just... This is Lucy. Okay. Her ability is strange. She works for the guild. I think she was kicked out of the guild. Because she let one of the other characters in this roster escape. Mm-hmm. So I don't know if she is or isn't with the guild anymore. Same with another character on this. But I think he quit the guild. I don't remember. Um, <clears throat> sorry. Her ability is she can send you into a different world almost. Mm. And to get out of this world, you need the key, which she has. And you got to fight her little monster, play her game to get the key. Her mm. monster is a giant doll. <laughs> yeah. This is Fukasawa. <laughs> Fukuzawa, he is the leader of the detective agency. Mm. I think you said he's the leader of the mice. <laughs> um, I don't remember what I said, but yeah. Yeah, I think you said he's the leader of the mice. I think he adopted Rambo, which is his, the other character. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know if that's canon or not. It's my little head canon. Uh, do you know what canon means? In the show or not in the show? Oh, okay. So headcanon means it's something that I wish was in the show. Mm. But yeah, he's the leader of the detective agency. His ability is called All Men Are Equal. I wish people would abide by that today. (laughs) Uh, Technically, if you're in the agency, he can amp up your ability. Mm. He's also a very good swordsman. That's why he's kind of like dressed in a kimono and stuff. This is Fordor? Fordor? He is Russian. That's why I can't pronounce his name. (laughs) He's the leader of the mice. Mm. He's the only mouse character on here. Okay. Uh, I don't know his ability. I know he loves stabbing people, though. I think that's a part of his ability. Okay. This is Jin? Jin? I think it's Jin. She... You got the right, it is a she. Uh, she does not have an ability. And she is a part of the mafia. I think she's an assassin. Mm. And a part of the black lizard, which is one of the highest rank in the mafia. Oh, so it's right. touching my foot. Oh, that was your shoe. <laughs> oh, so I'm right yeah. about her being in the Mafia. Yeah. Oh, okay. She's one I got of the that much ranks. right. Her brother is actually the most powerful in the Mafia over Mori. So I would be, I wouldn't, her brother should be next in line, not that other guy. <laughs> I, I, I don't know who the other guy even is. This, you actually said his name. This is Mark Twain. <laughs> oh, I right. actually said his name? You said his name. I forget what I called him, though. Yeah. You called him... Was he the one you called Jack? No, I don't think that was it. No, Jack was the black-haired guy. Yeah. I don't remember what you called him either. <laughs> I think you called him Bozo. <laughs> His ability is Huckleberry Finn and Tom Sawyer. Mm. That's literally the name of his ability. Technically, there's these little floaty characters that are a part of his ability, kind of like how Maury has the girl. Mm-hmm. I forget her name, though. Um... He can technically infuse them into his bullets to make them perfectly accurate. Hmm. And he works for the guild. 
This is Edgar Allan Poe. You said the first guy was Edgar. Mm. <laughs> and actually, I, 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 I told you who this guy was. Oh, that guy. He's the same person on my transfer here that we need to do. Okay. His ability is called Black Cat in the Rogue Borg. And his little animal companion is Carl. Mm. <laughs> Everyone thinks it should be a raven, but I think the raccoon is adorable. I love Carl. Mm -hmm. Um... His ability is that he can put you into his book. Mm. I think he can put himself into the book, too. I don't know yet. This is Fitzgerald, I think, or Frederick. I don't know. He is a richy, rich man. I do not like him. He's very snooty. <laughs> he does have a sad backstory, and a lot of people like him for that. They feel bad for him. I frankly don't like him. He tries to kill two characters that I love. Mm. Um, his ability is that he can use his money to make himself powerful mm. like every rich person thinks they can do <laughs> <laughs> uh, too bad. oh wait don't do that okay that takes me to a different thing um, so yeah you, the more money he spends the more powerful he becomes mm. he's the leader of the guild okay also I forget if Edgar quit the guild or didn't quit the guild. I don't remember. This is Konikida. Konikida Dopo, if I remember correctly. It's a lot of Po in the names for some reason. His ability is Dopo Poet. Uh, that book he's holding? Somebody thought it was the Bible? <laughs> I don't know why. Hmm. That'd be funny, just read it off pieces of the Bible. There's actually a character in the show hmm. who's like very priestly but has to cut himself open to use his ability. Ooh. He has to use his own blood. That sounds that nasty. Does, that does sound nasty. <laughs> That's why I kind of laughed when someone said it was the Bible. Someone that wasn't in our family. But um, he can write down the letter form of the weapon he wants, like a gun. Or it doesn't even have to be a weapon. It can be like a key or a pe another pen. And take it out of the book. Fully hmm. formed... Like, he could write fork and take a fork out of the book. Oh, okay. <laughs> but it has to be the size of his book. Mm. He's a part of the, the... He's actually next in line to be the head of the detective agency. Okay. These two are Naomi and Tanazaki. I actually have one of Tanazaki's books. Uh, some prefer nettles back at um, my mom's house. Uh, they are siblings. She acts like they're a couple, though, and I hate that. That's why I don't like her. Mm. He does not seem to like it. That's why um, if I was in the show, i like slap her and be like, back off. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> I feel like I would do that. <laughs> He's clearly uncomfortable with it in the show. What just happened? I have no clue. And now he's crying. Grammy spanked him. He must have been doing something. Uh, he must have been doing something bad. Um, you know, pause it. What's their power? Okay, he's still crying, but, uh, she does not have a power. Oh, okay. He does. His ability is called Light Snow. Mm. I wanted to get that book, but I don't know what book it is. Mm. Um, because like light I said, snow. they're usually light snow, not white, light. Light, yeah. I think I said white. Um. No, you said light. Oh. Usually their name, his abilities are named after books. Mm. But I couldn't find the book that Light Snow was. Okay. He can make illusions. He can literally make this, like, digital snow and make illusions out of it. Oh. He, would, he did this, like, really cool scene in, like, the first few episodes. And that is what made me fall in love with this character. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember her name. <laughs> I feel bad I don't remember some of these characters' names. They're, like, the main characters. Um, her ability is called Demon Snow. They are not related, I swear. Even though she kind of looks like Naomi. Kind of. Mm-hmm. Her ability is actually linked up to her cell phone, oh, okay. which is around her neck. I mean, Grandma thought those were badges until I pointed out as a cell phone. Um, I got like saliva building up in the corner of my mouth. I've been talking so much. Uh, technically, whoever is on the other line of the cell phone can control her ability. Oh, they can control her ability? Yes, through the, oh, okay. by talking through the cell phone. That's why she has such a hard time controlling it. Mm. This is Octagawa, Gin's big brother. Uh, he actually is one of my favorite characters. He's one of, 
He's the one that uh, Frederick tries to kill. Or mm. Fitzgerald. Frederick Fitzgerald. I don't know. Uh, that's I hate him. <laughs> I think he should be next in line for the Mafia boss. Because he's the most powerful. But I guess Mafias don't go like that. Usually they go family-based, don't they? Mm-hmm. Ah. Apparently not the Port Mafia. Um... His ability is called Rashomon. I actually have, like, a little plushie of it in my room that I made. Mm-hmm. Um, technically, the jack that he is we- wearing right now is mm-hmm. his ability. His ability is, like, infused to his jacket, like how her ability is infused to her phone. Okay. But I think her phone gets broken. Um, so if he wears a jacket, he has the power? Yes. He actually gives his ability to this guy mm-hmm. later on just for, like, a, a big fight. Because he would fuse his ability with the other guy's ability. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they fuse it all together and be, like, super OP, which means overly powered. Um, yeah. <laughs> he is Mafia. Got uh, that right. Yeah. <laughs> Got that right. I don't remember her name either. I think it's, like, y- y- Yose? Y- Yole? Um, she's a doctor. Oh. And that's a part of her ability. Her ability is called Thou Shalt Not Die. Oh. And she freaks me the heck out, like like Naomi does. Um, she goes a little psycho when using her ability, because you have to be at a near-death experience. So if you wanted her to heal a paper cut, she ain't gonna put a bandage on that. She gonna saw your freaking arm off to heal your paper cut. And then fix it all back up. I don't know. Ugh. She gets really weird with the two. Mm. Like, uh, one of the characters was hurt, and they didn't show anything, but she, like, started taking off her shirt, and that weirded me out. It's a good thing they didn't show anything else that was going on in the room. They just cut to the other guys, Hmm. (laughs) being, like, really weirded out in the next room. (laughs) (coughs) That's why I love anime. Uh, She is the doctor of the detective agency. I feel Hmm. like I haven't been saying where they're from. This is Rampo. I love him. (laughs) <laughs> he's a, one of my personal favorites. Uh, he His ability is called Ultimate Deduction. Mm. And actually, he has no ability. He's just very smart. Yeah. He's a very good detective. And the leader of, technically his father figure, to me at least, gave him these special glasses. Uh, he's actually the character that got me wearing my glasses again. Uh, a lot of, And the one who got me drinking Ramune and eating Pocky. A lot of the things I do is influenced by anime. Mm. <laughs> Which probably isn't a good thing. Uh, yeah. So the leader of the detective agency gave him these glasses, thinking that when he put the glasses on, his ability began mm. with the start. Um, it was like a trigger for his ability. But really, he's just super smart. I'll lose your phone here. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Stay on, please. But, uh, yeah. He is Detective Agency, if you couldn't tell. And he is the Snack Lord. The <laughs> Snack Lord? He's the Snack Lord. Like I said, he's the one who got me drinking ramen again mm. and eating Pocky. Okay, that would make, yeah. It's not snacking. Yeah. I, I love him. <laughs> this is Chuya. He is a literal god. The reincarnation or vessel of the god of gravity. Mm. You said somebody else controls gravity. That's his job. <laughs> mm. Okay. He does work for the Mafia. Okay. So... Instead of Octagawa being the most powerful, I think he should be, because, again, he's a literal god, <laughs> as far as I can understand in the show. Mm-hmm. And he has to, like, cover his hands up when you u- when using his ability in fighting. So when he was younger, he would shove his hands into his pockets. Mm-hmm. Now he just wears gloves. So he don't. he's more y- used to using his feet to use his ability and kicking people literally in the butt. <laughs> Literally kicking people in the butt. Kicking people's butts. I don't know. <laughs> it sounds so weird when I say it. Um, so yeah. He, yeah, stay, stay on. He's probably the most powerful person in the show. Okay. And when he uses his ability, like when he's being overpowered or OP, red markings appear, and he goes kind of crazy. A lot of these characters go crazy. <laughs> um... And Dazai, the first character on this list, is the only one who can stop him. Oh, okay. I will tell you why soon. This is Atsushi. 
He's a sushi roll. He's adorable. I love him. <laughs> <laughs> He's literally the only way I can remember his name is, ah, some sushi. Mm, okay. <laughs> also sushi roll. <laughs> That's his nickname for me now, sushi roll. <laughs> his ability is called Beast Beneath the Moonlight. That kind of tells you what he is. A who to what? Beast Beneath the Moonlight. Some of the names are really long. Beast Beneath the Moonlight. He's a, a so were tiger. Werewolf. Tiger. Were tiger. Okay. Yes. He turns into a albino white tiger. That's why the eyes are the way they are. Do, do white tigers have eyes like that? Well, cats have those kind of kind of eyes. Onyx, Please. where are you? I need, a, I need an experiment. I need to see your eyes. <laughs> but um, he actually has a little black streak on this little dangly bit in his hair. Mm-hmm. Showing his little tiger side. And he gets his leg cut off, but it grows back somehow. Oh. And the doctor lady didn't even do anything. Hmm. Uh, so he has a power of regeneration. Technically, he's he has like the most saddest story. He's the main character, so it's kind of natural he has a sad story. Mm. He was an orphan that was kicked out of the orphanage because he couldn't control his ability, and that's not really his fault, you now is it? Yeah, they just deemed him a danger because he was attacking the chickens. <laughs> okay. Because <laughs> he couldn't control his ability. So they threw him out. They kicked him out onto the street. And mm. Dazai found him and took him in. Oh, okay. So, yeah. And helped him develop his powers. Yeah. Okay. Okay, like I said, this is Dazai. Mm-hmm. The only one that can nullify Chuya's ability and took in Asushi. Okay. He, I guess, is the second main character, along with the rest of the cast of the detective agency. Oh, yeah. You got him right on detective. You got him wrong I think you said he was Mafia or Guild. I think Guild. Yeah. No, you said Mice. Was it Mice? Yeah. Okay, I, did, I don't remember. <laughs> um, he is Detective Agency. Okay. He, like I said, the only one that can nullify Chuya and took in Asushi. He's Asushi's father figure, <laughs> even though they're like a few years apart in age. I think Asushi is 18 and he's like 27 or something. Mm. Yeah, that's a little bit of difference. Yeah. Um... Why are you out of your bed? Okay. Uh, because he wants to come out spanking. His yeah. ability is called No Longer Human, which literally almost everyone in the show is no longer human because they have superpowers. Right. But he is the ultimate non ability. Non ability? Yeah. He What's can nullify that? other people's abilities. Oh, okay. He can that's turn why he can control the other guy. Yeah, that's, that's how he gets Chuya under control. And luckily. Him and Chuya have to fight together a lot, even though they're one's mafia and one's detective agency. It's like the ultimate. Oh, to everyone in the fandom, it is the ultimate Romeo and Juliet. Because oh, okay. everyone thinks. I'm gonna do a, a quick impersonation of what other people think. Oh, they'd be the, like the cutest couple. It's like Romeo and Juliet. That's what almost <laughs> everyone thinks, including myself. <laughs> I am one of those people. In other words, I ship them, which means I. Like, relationship. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, I also do the Rompo and Poe. <laughs> but, uh, a lot of people like, like, rival turn to lover type of ships. Mm, okay. Like Chuya and Dazai, Rompo and Poe. Uh, yeah, that pretty much concludes everything. That was, like I said, I'm recording this right now. Mm-hmm. But that was my grandfather. You gotta say buyers. <laughs> You gotta say hi or bye. Goodbye. <laughs> Reacting to Bungo Stray Dogs. I do. <laughs> I don't have an intro or outro to my channel yet, so yay. Okay. I'm just gonna end the video. <laughs> if I can get into the 